So a quick overview of the bag that I've made. Um, just a quick note on the materials used and the design. So first of all, I wanted a winter bag that I could take winter camping or combine it with my summer bag uh, in a really uh, cold conditions. So in terms of design, I wanted the full zipper across. I wanted a hood right here. And um, I want it to be less than a kilo or um, less than two pounds. So uh, in fact, I made it at 976 grams, which is just south of 35 ounces. Um, so um, first thing first, it took me about five days to make, not for full five days, but uh, evenings and, and, and such. Um, I've used down for insulation because it's light. Um, this down I've obtained locally. Um, wasn't too expensive. Uh, materials I ordered at Rip Stop by the Roll uh, website. Uh, all in, all the materials, both inside out, zipper, uh, everything cost me about a hundred. 100 bucks. Anyways, so a quick overview, a close up of the bag. As you can see, it's got a full size zipper, it's got a hood. The hood can, can be opened up, loosened around the neck and chest. Uh, when it's hot, it'll be flat like this. All right. The zipper can be opened fully like this and used as a, as a blanket. You can see here, turn it in. The zipper also has um, a second way of closing and opening so when i'm hot i can open one portion with my feet to circulate and get some cool air in it's got a reinforcing triangle here so when the bag is open when you kick it doesn't rip up it's got pretty solid stitching Everything is reinforced, double stitched at least. It has this lip, down lip by the zipper to reduce the cold spots or to prevent the cold spots around the zipper when you close. It closes in like this, so now no heat escapes. Um, the materials used are of lightweight nylons. This is the outer shell is 0.75 ounces ripstop nylon. And the inner part is 0.66 ounces per yard to feta nylon. Kind of lightweight and uh, it's also downproof feathers and down doesn't come to escape. Uh, throughout the project I used the polyester thread. I don't know what size it is but it doesn't rot when it gets wet. Now in terms of the insulation I've used a down insulation. It's a goose down. I estimate it is about 800 fill. It's quite uh, big down clusters. Uh, it is distributed in these sections that are six inches apart or 15 centimeters apart. And I used a no seam uh, mesh uh, with uh, about a three and a half inch height for each. Okay. I mean, this gets about three 
and a quarter to three and a half inches which is keeping you warm uh, foot box is a little bit more it's closer to four inches as you can see here so it's more stuffed just pretty good for your feet all right now in terms of time it took me about five days not full days of course but afternoons and evenings the total weight like i said is 976 grams uh, or just shy of 35 ounces and that's with even with a compression sack without compression sacks is 930 so um 34 ounces uh, so far I've used it three times on three different occasions and one of them was negative eight Celsius without even a tent this was in a sort of a tarp shelter and I used um, a long long johns top and bottom merino wool and it kept me pretty warm and toasty so I'm extremely happy the way it turned out anyways i hope you enjoy this video and make one for yourself and if you have any questions let me know cheers so let's do this The, the length of the material I got was 2.5 yards, which is roughly 2.3 meters. I'm 180 centimeters or six feet. Um, I need to account for a foot box, hood, hemming of the material. So the total length of this, in my case, I decided to do 220 Meter, uh, centimeters or 2.2 .2 meters that's the length or the height of the bag and the total width is the widest spot is 150 centimeters so that's about 75 centimeters for the shoulder uh, section where it's the widest on the foot foot box is slanted so you can see here and at the very bottom is 110 centimeters okay the top of the hood is 30 centimeters now i'm going to use a different, different uh, band here these sections so the widest sections the 16 centimeters Slanted to foot side, or section is 100 centimeters. And we have, you can do one line, but I, I created a different, this is slightly different angle. So this section here is now 30 centimeters. And finally, the hood is 30 centimeters. I'll mark it here as well 30, 30, 60, and let's say 100. Yep. The slanted portion, there's 20, 110, and 20 again. That's Okay. This one's 10. This one's 20. 30. Another 20. And that is 60. And 10. So 10, 60. In total, 150 width. 10 plus 10, 20. 30, 20, 60, 10. And then 220 in length. Okay. The hood is in this part here. I have to mention that. Um, even though I didn't do this, the, the, the proper mummy size bag, you would need to cut this material here, kind of like this. I don't know, maybe leave 20 centimeters out. So what you're trying to do is to create, um, proper mummy bag.
like this. I understand you 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 fold this over like a burrito, uh, like a taco, and uh, you have a mummy size bag. Now I didn't do this, so my bag is actually kind of like this on this end. And the reason I didn't do this is because there's a lot more work. And when you stuff in the down into the sections between the buffles, then you would need to have, you know, stuck, stick it here and here, this part, because this one's going to be stitched in. Uh, speaking of which, the buffles, I decided to do it every six inches or 15 centimeters. So in this case, Code have two two portions. So six inches or fifteen centimeters between buffles. And when you put the down with this, the way I've done it, you only put it here. You're not putting it here or here, it's two different sections. And the other thing to consider is the weight of the material the down that you're going to put in. Because this section here hundred fifty centimeters by fifteen will hold more than say this section. So you just do it proportionally, 110, 150 width. So roughly 25% less in here. So if I was putting 55 grams in this one, then whatever that 25% uh, less, so 45 or 42 grams in here, okay? So you decide how you do this. Um, finally, it's going to be a foot box here, like this. I did 35 centimeter this way and 25 centimeter this way. And also two sections for down.
So a quick update to design. Uh, after I cut the fabric for the outer and inner as well as uh, mesh, I've decided to add a flap around zipper to uh, stop the heat loss. Um, so we need to add a piece on the side uh, of the bag that is gonna be uh, the length of our zipper. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna add something like this. Okay, so it's going to be about five to six inches wide and the length is the length of your zipper. So in my case, it's um, all except one sections. This piece, you're gonna sew in to the inner material. It's gonna be made out of the same material as inner, okay? Uh, and you're gonna sew it to one of the sides where you're gonna plan to put the zipper. Now the eye outer edge of this is gonna go and be sewn in with the outer and the zipper material. Here's a quick drawing of what we're gonna do. Now this part is the outer fabric. This is the inner. Okay, this marked by green. We have a side buffle here, kind of like this. And you have some side buffles also for the dotted lines. This is what I call the vertical buffle. Okay, so that's going to be going along parallel to the zipper. And this extra piece that we sewn in here going to be like this and it's basically going to be folded and attached here okay and then down we'll go inside here so this end here we're going to attach to the outer fabric the folded piece and the zipper is going to go like like here all three of them are going to be together here attached here then it was folded to create like a tube and attached back to the outer and zipper so zipper goes between the two and then in this case this is the where the hood is um, it was just sewn in after it was filled with down
but the most in the widest sections and then slightly less. So I just calculated, uh, basically I'm going to do um, 60 grams per section, four sections here. Then I'm going to do a little bit less here, 55, 50, to do another 55 here. Um, the last one, I'm going to do 45, 47.5, and I believe I did 50 here. section and 15 in the smaller section. For the foot box I'm doing same amount in each and that's 9 grams and 9 grams here.
Swarm of swaying now.
this is morning uh, the night after sleeping uh, at this make uh, shelter um, it's about zero degrees now uh, last night was minus two minus three maybe at night but wind chill minus eight uh, about I don't know 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit um, so the simple shelter I just use the branches to hang around as you can see uh, nothing serious and you, you can use guidelines and uh, just added some pegs to stretch out my small tarp that's all I have with me um, and uh, set it up just like I said using these branches I just hang it on one and then use the other ones to stretch uh, here is the star the sleeping bag I've uh, added uh, one uh, hand big handful of this straw just to uh, kind of put it not as much for insulation but uh, you know, knowing that the snow is gonna melt, it's gonna be muddy. I didn't want to get it back dirty. Um, anyways, uh, I used uh, two mats. Again, this one is really shitty, thin one, uh, but I didn't want the straw or anything to puncture uh, my thermal rest, which is already deflating. Uh, I don't know what, what's wrong with it and on top of that I just put the bag uh, it's a little bit tight here because the foot box was right against the wall and I was afraid of condensation that sort of thing but it was fine so just to back up a bit um, to first impressions Basically, it held up really well. I was warm. I actually slept till almost 10 o'clock. Uh, I woke up once from some dogs barking around. Uh, one thirty ish. Uh, otherwise, I slept well. Uh, didn't even have earplugs. Um, and I was pretty toasty. The feet were really, really warm. I slept only in long johns and uh, on the top. It's a, a, a merino wool uh, top. Use the hood. It was it was it was fine, and uh, you know it's still. There we go. Stretched. It just fits perfectly around the head. It wasn't as big as my Western Mountaineering bag hood, uh, and one thing, the f the flap here or whatever it's called between the zipper. It caused me hell making the bag, but it was really worth it because you could feel if you put your hand here, it was cold, but behind it, it was quite nice and toasty. So I'm glad I did it. Uh, I guess uh, the guys in Western Mountaineering bags know what they're doing because that's my uh, old one. Uh, you could see, I mean, the loft is quite good on the bag. What is that? I don't know, six inches, eight inches. Uh, right here. So it's quite warm. Uh, no, very happy with it. Feet were warm, sides were warm. Uh, hood worked. And yeah, I mean, it's not exactly minus uh, uh, 10 Fahrenheit or minus 15 bag, but minus five to minus 10 with the clothing, it'll be fine. Uh, if I use my other bag, two of them together, it'll be uh, working 